Thank you for staying with us and good morning to you. This is PLOS TV Africa and welcome to Of The Press where we'll bring you the headlines making the rounds and the news in our national dailies. Joining me on this this morning for in-depth analysis is Bolan Olojede, a public analyst. Thank you Bolan for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. How was your weekend, if Pretty I may good. ask? All right. Let's get into the dailies and we'll kick it off with the Punch newspaper. The very first headline in the Punch this morning, Discos reject 5 5.451 million watts of electricity in one week, and that's in page 48 of the Punch newspaper. Dan Juma's criticism of my regime, one man opinion, says President Mohamed Buhari, and 7.5% VAT VAT implementation begins February 1. Start strike immediately, your salary stop, Asu tells lecturers. And also personnel will have power to arrest criminals, says AG. State Houses of Assembly to get draft bill before March 1. A Motekun debate shows there's need to renegotiate Nigeria. Bakari. Adeyaya Ade wants appeal court to review second judgment. And Shaolu orders probe into Amu plank market fire. We don't have highest number of single ladies, says the MFM. A $9.6 billion judgment. PNID claims victory at Friday hearing. Command arrests 86 suspected Lagos courses, one killed. And lastly, APC PDP candidates win rewant in strongholds. Personnel will have power to arrest criminals, says the Attorney General. Your reaction to this? Well, even ordinary citizens under our laws have the power to, to arrest. arrest. You know, it's what you do after you arrest. That's, that's where, where the uh, whatever is. So you arrest and hand it over, hand the person over to the uh, law enforcement agent. Um, the, the laws are actually still being drafted. I'm not aware that any of the states have passed their internal laws yes. already. Uh, what, what would be of bigger concern uh, are elements of that law uh, that deals on the modus operandi of, of the organization, how are people going to be recruited, uh, what will be the structure of the, the institutional framework for that uh, organization, how is it going to be funded? You know, so the funding structure of that organization, I believe all these are going to be part, an integral part of the law, setting it up. Yes. Uh, then it will begin to make more sense okay. um, as, as to how they will operate. All right. It's interesting in the news this morning, um, discos reject 5,451 megawatts of electricity in one week. What could have informed this? We've always had issues of stranded power yes. in our system because the capacities across the three segments are not the same. And there is gross inefficiency. So if I'm a generating uh, a company and I generated electricity, but the transmission company does not have the capacity to, of take, to take what I've generated, there's yes. a problem. Or if on the transmission line, whatever I will pass through that transmission line, the disco are not willing to take, then I probably will not transmit if I'm transmission. Okay. So that power is just there. I, unfortunately, you cannot store it. So it's, it's stranded. All right. You know, no, I've always argued the fact that is, is this so much of a generation problem or a distribution problem? Because rejecting 5,451 megawatts of electricity in one week, that's a whole lot of shortage in so many areas. That means there was Correct. a whole lot of darkness in, in a whole lot of areas. So is this so much of a transmission problem, not a generation problem? It's transmission, it's distribution. And is not the, generation? No. Okay. Well, for, for, the, for this particular issue, standard yes. power, yeah, it's not generation. Okay. Generation has been able to generate the power. But the people, the other segment that are meant to take it up, are not able to take it up. That is the problem. That's why the power is stranded yeah. right there. And it's an infrastructure thing. Look at it this way. If I have 12,000 megawatt capacity as, a gener as generating, but my transmission infrastructure can only carry seven, what happens to the five? Or if my discos are saying, no, please don't give us more than four. We don't have the capacity to, trans to, to distribute more than four. What do I do? So that power is lost. It's inefficiency. It's stranded somewhere. It can't be distributed. Now, I, I, do, I do remember that we did bother on the PNID issue some time ago, doing one of the newspaper reviews. Now, $9.6 billion judgment. The PNID claims victory at Friday hearing. Oh, and, and the reaction, question is, what does claim this? mean? Means, um, I don't think it should be a matter of claiming victory. The, the court will make 
a proper pronouncement, the judgment will be available for yes. everybody to uh, deal on. So if it is still a matter of claiming victory, I don't think we have gotten to the finish line. Now let's get okay. to this day. This morning in this day newspaper, the first headline, Nigeria could save $5 billion from fuel, forex, electricity subsidies. And that you find on page 10 in this day newspaper. No Nigerian infected with coronavirus, says the federal government. Page 9 of this day, where is our shame? Nothing, Nigeria's Almagiri crisis. And that's an opinion piece at the front page of the this day newspaper. Despite Supreme Court judgment, or your 12 orders run local governments with caretakers. SANs divided on enforcement of Apex Court verdict. Emperor orders deployment of fighter jets in Niger. And that's it on this day newspaper this morning. Nigeria could save $5 billion from fuel, forex, electricity subsidies. We're a country of subsidies. And those things listed, we are bleeding from all those subsidies. Those the subsidies themselves are not, are not effective in the real sense of it. Part of what we're doing when we subsidize fuel is that we also subsidize neighboring countries. That consumption. You see, Nigeria does not even feature on the list of the 10 top oil producers in the world. So sometimes we get carried away in this euphoria of we are an oil, oil country, oil country, mm. oil country. If those countries that produce much more than us are not subsidizing fuel, America is the world's largest producer. You don't subsidize, you don't subsidize fuel in America. Saudi Arabia, which is number two, does, there's an element of subsidy, but fuel is still much more, cost much more. In Saudi Arabia, why? Is it that all those countries are, are daft? They don't know what they're doing? Or if you come home to Ghana, a liter of fuel in Ghana is about 350 Naira equivalent. There must be something about appropriately costing consumption. So that if you want to subsidize, it's not consumption you are subsidizing. You're subsidizing capital, capital uh, 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 products. products yes. Not our production. You are subsidizing production in itself. We're not producing. We're importing this fuel. Don't forget. We import it and then we subsidize when it comes out. The same thing with Forex. So when we subsidize people going to Mecca and Jerusalem. You want to go and do your religious period, what's my business with that? Why should I pay for it? If maybe I'm an unremilla person, why, yeah. why should I pay for, pay for it? Yes. Your, your subsidy for to go in for Mecca or Jerusalem? Now, some people have argued, some people subscribe to the thought that the whole subsidy seems to be like an hoax, just as a way for, for a leakage. Do you, do, you share, do you share in that? No, okay. it's not a hoax. It's actually a subsidy. Yeah. And the subsidy comes in when you look at the cost profile for a liter of fuel. So there is the fact that the amount we are being asked to sell by law, 145 for Nigeria, for example, is well below the cost of the fuel in itself. So definitely for us to buy at that one, there's subsidy. That is the reality. Okay. But then the administration of subsidy is where the black hole is. is. So it's, it's a black hole of unaccountability. And that is one of the reasons why we must confront this monster and deal with it. The people we say are the beneficiaries are not truly the beneficiaries. It's the, oh, it's the poor. Mm. It's a lie. Despite Supreme Court's judgment, or your 12 orders run local governments with, caretaker, uh, with caretakers committee. And this seems to be like an affront on, on court orders. I mean, how long are we going to carry on this way? Caretaker committees in, as interim replacement for local government for local administration government. And, and councils. And it's illegal. And court has made a pronouncement. Yes. Then we should enforce the, the, the uh, law of the land. There must be a way to enforce the law of the land. <laughs> and in Vanguard this morning, how we intend to make Eastern ports thrive. A diesel's man, and that's the first headline in the Vanguard newspaper. To 2023 presidency, it wouldn't make sense to deny Igbo, says Tanko Yakasai. Basketball legend Kobe Bryant dies in a helicopter crash. Amotekun, restructuring now inevitable, says Bakari Ohanezi. Create your own operation, Amotekun now, Middle Belt Forum tells governors. Senator Boacha advises other zones to emulate Southwest. We want to have robust Amotekun in Southwest, says Akere Dolu. And Leah Sharibu hasn't denied her faith, says nothing can. Hmm. Amu Market Inferno, Shawolu orders immediate probe. Lassa fever spreads. 10 billion naira, Dangote Foundation empowers. 34,000 women in Katsina. Your opinion not important. Bari slams Dan Juma.
restructuring now inevitable still on the Amotekun issue. But I want us to put a little bit on Leah Sharibo. Okay. What, what are your contemplations on the recent, um, well, if, it, if the rumor, the alleged rumor is anything to go by that she, she's pregnant right. and she's oh, given, she's, she's been given to the birth of a child. Mm -hmm. It's over two years since our abduction. Wow. How time flies. Yeah. Over two years. Over two years, she was she was abducted around 2018 of February, yeah. and she was like 14 or something mm. around that time. So, so she's, she's 16, she's still 16 on, still on, still a minor. Um, it's it's such a shame uh, that we've not been able to help the young lady. She was just 14. Just imagine. I mean, I, I have a daughter myself, and I know mm. uh, what pains that must have brought to the parents for 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 their daughter to disappear that way. Um, it's a, it's a call on the government again, because now we all seem to talk just about Leah Sharibu. There were previous kidnaps for which some of those girls are still in captivity. Yeah, over, over, over 117 still in captivity, yes, e unaccounted e exactly. for. Exactly. Yeah. And apart from those people, those people became headlines because they were in the school, they were young ladies. but. Those kidnaps are actually daily occurrences in some of those parts of the world, of, our, of our country, uh, with a lot of unnamed, unnumbered people being victims. So, as much as federal government can say, oh, "Okay, we have technically defeated uh, Boko Haram," you know, technically, um, but then, as long as people like Leah Sharibu are still in captivity. And the other ladies, uh, the, the other girls that were there yeah. before, uh, yeah, the Chibok, the, the, uh, it, the it girls. shows that it is not over. And we, we must do more for people like Leah. And in the Nation newspaper, federal government has to roll over payroll grows. Don Ford's SGF on pay. Oil to sack council chiefs will deal with troublemakers. Buhari orders airstrike on Niger bandits. I think we'll burden that a little bit. Banks court lending rates to woo more borrowers. And Buhari, Oshimbajo and I have perfect relationship. No cabal running my government, says President Muhammadu Buhari. Concerns mount over strengthening coronavirus. We've surrendered to fate, says Leah Sharibu's dad. Traders rebuild Amu market. Hmm. Oil to sack chief councils will deal with troublemakers and Buhari orders airstrike on Niger bandits. Good decision taken there. Uh, Niger has become a hotbed of yeah. recent. And it is believed that there is this forest in that exists, Niger, Kaduna, Zamfara, that we, where these bandits hide and you know, unleash terror on the people from time to time. Um, it's difficult for, say, the police to say, the police should enter the forest, for example, and, and deal with that matter. So uh, effectively, we still have to be a military affair. Yeah. Um, how we ensure that um, our bombing will be nicely targeted and innocent villages, because there will also be affected, villages yeah. in those forests, yeah. are not affected, are matters that um, we need to talk about. Because um, in such situations, we, they're, they're bound to be collateral damage. There are collateral damage. Yeah. Even, even with the best bombers in yeah. the world, there are yeah. collateral damages. You know, so how, how much more we are upcoming and... and, and uh, you know, we, we've not had this kind of war in a long time. All right, quickly, let's put down a little bit on, on banks cutting their lending rate to woo more borrowers. Oh. Let's talk about that for a moment. I, I think it's a nice one. Yes. Um, I got, I got, a, I got a, um, an email from my own bank, too, asking me to come and borrow and giving me some ridiculously low, unbelievable uh, uh, rates, yeah. uh, as far as I'm concerned. It shows the impact of the policies, the CBN policies, on, on the banks. You have a policy that says you must lend a particular ratio of your deposit to uh, to the to, to the people. Yeah. You know, then the the issue of investing just carrying money and putting it in treasury bills is not as it used to be. So the the, the policy from Central Bank has also dealt significantly with that flaw. And these are some of the things that are driving the reduction in it. So let's see how we can sustain this. And, um, and, and, and the people and the industry will take advantage of whatever is going on in the market right now. I'm, I'm excited about it. I okay. don't know if you are. Yeah, well, I am. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bolan, for joining us on Off the Press this morning and for Thanks your for contribution. And that's much we can take this morning on Off the Press. Join us same time tomorrow on Plus TV Africa, Off the Press. Good morning. Stay with us. My name is Benny Ock.